you guys, this is Stormy with the Capital Z. Welcome to another Warcraft 3 cast. Today's game is going to be about Lucifer, the Orange Undead player, versus Padish, the um, Teal Orc player, right here on Secret Valleys. I do believe Padish was Night Elf. I don't actually remember at this moment, but I do believe he was Night Elf. Right, anyways, th this game he is going to be playing Orc. And we're gonna be seeing some, and we see Lucifer going for the graveyard, crypt, crypt build order. We're gonna be getting out those crypt fields first, and our Polish will be going for the standard world build order with that BM first. It would be much interesting to see if it will be a Farseer though. And what else can we expect from this game? Is a secret release? Some pe as some people say, an orc favored map. Um, there will be much usage, use of these fountains, corner fountains of these, this map. And, and Lucifer actually going for that outer surround thing again. We actually have seen him doing this uh, quite much as in late. He did it the last game as well I believe. And as the altar comes up, the hero will be coming up, Tomb of Relics will be dropped. Uh, in a while, I, d I do believe he is going for it. Yep, he is. Way we are ready. Fiend will be coming up just as he gets the ziggurat and the gold for it. While the ore player is almost ready to charge, get into the creeping or just get into the harassment. And. Well, just a few seconds <laughs> until all the action starts. There it goes, the ziggurat has been complete and we have the fiend and de dead knight coming up. Uh, the blade master from the orc side, blade master, the orc we are gonna be using the blade master, wi training wind walk, thanks to Wiz for telling me. And now gonna be actually gonna be charging over to the enemy's base, gonna be stopping at the shop probably, yes he is, gonna be wind walking, selling up the TP, buying that circlet and now gonna be charging towards the enemy base. Lucifer gets ready. Lucifer needs to be a bit more ready than he, uh, Oh boy, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now this is something not s very usual that we see. Uh, what uh, what fo what Padesh actually did over here is that bought, uh, went to the first shop, sold out TV, bought a circle event, and then went to the second shop and bought the other circle and now harassing using his grunt and using the blade master to get the item from this brute over here, which is actually what. Um, that came out as a tome of intelligence not very useful to the bm but will increase the mana a bit there goes the coil over the uh, over the bm pm gonna be cracking out a bit and now path is going for the orange camp over here like any orc would want to go for while lucifer goes for some more well actually lucifer going for his first creeping over here now uh, he went for the dk first order which is actually a little delayed than any other build order because uh, you get the fiends out you went for the fiend build order for me and well Pada should be completing creep creeping of all those ground creeps and running away from the dragon yes, tier 2 is coming I don't see any war mill although well, let's, I, I don't think they actually made the war mill for me uh, and seems like and Lucifer just try just to be a bit uh, safe uh, uh, just be a bit on safe end, just using the dust of appearance over there. Getting inside, buying the boost of speed, and over here, I don't think you can actually do much to stop your enemy from buying the boost of speed. And oh, nice! It seems like Padre's got a, a glove of haze, which is actually an excellent item for the Blade Master. Blade Master gonna be just rolling over the enemy. Jumping, pouncing on, attacking all the fidel strikes whenever he engages in a battle. A skeleton warrior is gonna be getting a few blows over the voodoo lounge, not gonna be enough to destroy it or actually harass it. And here comes, uh, here comes Lucifer. Lucifer actually got into, the, got into that cre uh, creeping and did manage to get a jag, I believe. Uh, there are some skeleton warriors and he actually got a level over there he did kill something that i can say i don't see what 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 oh wait he's actually creeping over there probably with, with uh, those uh, left out fiends and some ghouls got to level two and now gonna be oh nice he's gonna be t getting those skeleton warriors over here and I now actually um 
Now Paradesh having a very good set of items over here. A very bad well that he that increases like one of the end. Oh my, that last coil almost killed the ogre, but it wasn't in time to reach before the blade must strike. So the experience went to Paradesh. Paradesh doing much better. Your uh, actually having a much better position than Lucifer at the moment. Shadow Hunter coming out, and now the skeleton warriors going inside trying to disturb the goal line and gonna be borrowing in the uh, worker to uh, kill them off spirit launch and uh, spirit log <laughs> sorry spirit log and the beast tree coming up while the whole of that almost complete one more zero coming and we're and i don't think he actually can enter well i, I do believe he can enter from this small narrow um glitch you gotta call it a glitch location anything entrance anyways now yeah he actually did a click attack and then he changed the mind got back and oh nice he actually bought a rod of necromancy and now lucifer i'm just he not lucifer Pada is going i just went for these two uh, creeps got the item which was a cloth of red plus six and that's that's really great for him actually sold off that parrot and also sold off the other item that was the i do believe uh, Goblet of Ogre Strength, not very useful for the Blade Master, and right now Blade Master just having maximum DPS as, as possible. Let's see how it goes. He's gonna be, I do believe he's gonna be testing the DPS over these creeps over here. Actually, he just switched items, I believe. Wait, I, there is something over here. Uh, I'll leave it. The undead player just crept up this camp, which we totally missed, and the undead player now heading towards that <laughs> that orange camp, same orange camp. Maybe he's gonna get a jack, and no, kill the last camp, and he's trying gonna try to get inside a bit, and heck, going over, and that oh yeah, they can just see that the great amount of damage dealt by that VM. Raider thought out as well, and the orc position, uh, and the orc player in the dominant position. The end player needs to do something to shift the game in his favor because he doesn't really have anything to counter all this, all of this orc army, orc heroes, and orc style playing. Now the, now the VM will be staying outside for a bit and actually gotta go up to that skeleton minion. I wouldn't say it would be a complete waste, but that actually can go down by this unit, which he did do. And right now, now gonna be wind walking, just staying inside, waiting for an opportunity to strike, and actually finding a narrow place to enter. I don't, I don't believe he can enter from here, but well, let's see. And actually, directly going after the DK, DK area, and really low hit ones over there. One critical strike and one wind walk strike. <laughs> That's really great. And one more wind walk strike, get out, and yeah, the DK loser being the wise player using the push of healing that he had. And I right know Radish Radish going back a bit back a, a bit back and forth. Once again getting getting inside the undead base uh, invisibly. Staying outside to see whatever we're gonna go out and and actually letting the SH that is the shadow hunter creep a bit. Lucifer got the glitch and the orb of corruption. He actually got a uh, tier three. Now gonna be getting those destroyers I believe. A slaughterhouse along with those obsidian statues coming up. And while the SH uh, is done creeping over here, just a little more experience for the it to get level 3. Now Lucifer actually going for this red camp over here. Very dangerous to creep this out on this map and Lucifer I don't think he has that many u enough units to creep it out. And here's the BM. BM is gonna be charging over something over here. That's really really bad for Lucifer and Lucifer if jacked at this camp would be really really in a very tight position over there and actually going after the ghouls now which and now Lucifer still going after the camp and he's in this ogre this big ogre just takes out all the life of your army that I can say and now Lucifer <laughs> doing the right thing and keeping back to the way as he was completely sandwiched and the, it would have been GG no matter what was the outcome of that battle um, well the, the only outcome I could have seen that even if uh, Lucifer somehow managed to survive most of his units would have died and um, yeah, Pathos could have attacked the base like any time at all 
and some skeleton warriors at the back. I he I heard a destroyer coming. That destroyer is something that he needs a pit lord, a pit lord by Lucifer, and not something very commonly seen in pro, pro gaming. And here comes the here comes the battle. All the units gonna be just charging all over each other. There goes the hall of hall of terror by the pit lord that actually decreases the attack of the units. Now uh, some good amount of nuking done by Lucifer. He's just taking out those raiders one by one. Take a very good variable strategy. And now a good some micro there by uh, Padesh. Padesh now trying to get a surround of the pit lord. Pit lord just survived over there. Kodo is taken out. Now uh, he won't be able to swallow any more of the unit. One more fiend down. And once again Padesh seemed to be getting in the upper hand in the battle. Even with the three heroes, three hero combination, he just he don't it just their hands seem to and oh my the pitlock surrounded pitlock just doesn't have any way to go. There go he just made one when we for him and just gonna be escaping from there and oh my oh my the raider 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 still following it and well he did manage to escape. Nice the move there by nice escape there by um Lucifer and now he's gonna be getting back from there and oh my oh my the blade master blade master oh my he's gonna say he's gonna get caught and there goes and there goes down the pit lord that gives some hefty amount of experience to the orc player and getting him back uh, getting him actually just retain the orc player retaining his dominant position once again the only thing he needs to do is just get inside the base attack and finish it off at the moment uh, lucifer in a very very bad position just lost a hero lost a good number of units and Using the star appearance, showing his aware, better awareness now. Once again, going after the overlord, the old player does know about it, and the old actually leave, leaving a few units outside to let it down. And oh my, and that actually did work. Padesh went for the units outside and didn't mind to come inside to see what he was doing, and that actually uh, got uh, got the Lucifer enough time to kill that creep and get the medallion of courage. That's a very good item. Plus four strength, plus four intelligence, almost a perfect item for the DK. And right now, all the units just over here, they're trying to attack each other. And Death Player once again just losing units one by one. And just uh, that's how much hard they lose or try. This Pathe just seem to be getting the better of it. And just he's just uh, charging in uh, his units like A or here and there, just trying to take them out one by one. Did I? D I don't think he managed to take out any of the destroyers yet, but he was really close to it. And there goes another close call for the destroyer. Completely surrounded. Here comes the pit lord. Pit lord is alive. There comes like a coil of the destroyer. Destroyer is alive. Destroyer is going to be coming up once again. And all the units are over the blight. They're ha they are going to be regenerating much faster. And there goes there goes some new few new nuking type nuking uh done over the grunt grunt no not gonna die over there and actually going after the lich with uh, uh, that's actually a really great move if you ask me <laughs> go after your hero to destroy your enemy and that actually uh, saved the grunt of this player padish padish now gonna be getting towards that health found of health gonna be healing himself a bit and actually going for creeping over there well, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say why not. I would say why not. That is sorry. And yeah, and now Palace training, Spirit Walker Master training. That is, why the hell would you want a Master training? That actually gives Spirit Walkers the third, the that third magic thing which revives torrents, and that's only and only useful if you have torrents. But I don't see any torrent to them over here. Anyways, might be just to increase their attack a bit. Uh, I don't. I think their hit points and mana increases by it. I don't exactly remember what it was, but I I think it would be written over here. Um, yep, yep, yep. Increases the regeneration rate and hit points, so that that's a benefit uh, them a little. And now just going for the burrows, the under they're getting inside the old base, you know, going for the burrows, two burrows down, third burrow in uh, another way of getting down all the PP on repairing it, surrounding it. Undead player will be having to use that um, TP soon enough because he doesn't really have much of a chance to get just like run away from this number the old army and undead player actually doesn't need to run. He, he's just uh, what he's just doing here, he's just taking out all the burrows and just keeping out and that he's pretty much successful in doing it. Just two burrows left from the old side and 
that's gonna be cutting him off in the supply a lot over here he has 44 over 30 that is now he needs two more of the burrows complete to uh, get started on on the production of these units uh, before and oh that's a lot of skeleton warriors over there if you ask me i i do believe all three heroes are using the rod of necromancy well, there's no not a chance that they can have that many of them the unless and now the old player going for some creeping at the orange camp while the under player gonna be recuperating a bit at the base and now going for at the attack not gonna waste much time once again using the dust of appearance anywhere because just to be aware and just to be sa on the safe side or if, uh, for if the old will or to not attack so more skeleton warriors getting inside the base and i do believe all six of them entered two died three died and the fourth and the third and fourth just um attacking the under construction burrow now under player actually going for the second red camp and that's gonna give them him the second or very epic item over here which is where is it Hmm. I don't see it anywhere. Oh wait, wait, wait! It's a cross of attack plus six. He actually gave the medallion away to the lich al along with the other item that was cross of attack plus six, and that's actually increasing the lich's attack very, very much over there with that um orb of corruption. And now going after the um, the orc army, orc army forced to retreat a bit over there actually. And now the under here actually going for the orc expansion. I don't, I don't see, uh, believe I have seen this expansion any time. Uh, I do believe he expanded just right after he crept over there. And taking on the workers just as any other player would. And now here comes this, which might just be the final battle of the game. Uh, be it Hitler surrounded, Hitler has been targeted a bit. And there goes uh, some good nuking over the BM and the BM getting at 50 percent of the hit point. BM now going after the flying unit along with that um, spark, that orb. That orb will help him attack the flying units. And now in the fourth, the under they're forced to TP back to the base like before. And the orb player d retained his expansion. And right now, this is a necropolis. Well. I don't really see why you would you want a necropolis in, in your main base right now when you just have a two k goal left. Well, let's see. Mm, that healing save just dropped over there while the old player are not using it or what? And right now, some skeleton warriors being sent by the undead player towards the orc expansion. Oh wait, <laughs> the people here weren't all. All of them did not actually die, and and well, leaving these two spots, the whole map is almost devoid of all the creep spots. And yeah, the game is going pretty much coming to pretty much coming towards its end right now. And here come the under army, under army gonna be charging inside the old uh, old expansion. There goes a blow of the troll that fighter over the destroyers. There goes another. There goes two of them. Oh my god, the destroyer just died over there. And there goes the under army now going for spirit walker, spirit walker that died. And now just under army getting inside and just trying to. Um, screw up the mic of the old player over here. The old player um, just having all the tools that he needs to feed the under player. And there goes the pit lord. Now pit lord actually getting it low hit one. Pit lord might die over there. Yeah, good coil over there by the old by the undead player. Sorry. And the other under player forced to run away a bit. A lich. Oh, by lich is actually a pretty pretty less hit point there. And right now the old player once again. Seem to be getting in the uh, upper hand. Seem to be getting the upper hand. I don't see why. I don't see how. But the old player just just seem to be dominant in this battle. And oh my, oh my, the undead player, undead player actually recovering. 
and oh my god the um, the player uh, dk must die dk me just die over there dk oh my dk look oh my god dk just died he could have used that he could have used that tp he could have saved himself but he just uh, didn't i uh, wasn't uh, in a wasn't in on time to click on that that's when oh my oh my I, the lich just killed the d uh, the bm bm died over there and right now the pit pit lord and lich gonna be trying to dominate the undead expansion the orc expansion so he can the orc gold mine almost just depleted over here if they manage to take out the expansion they will be cutting out all the gold supply and the undead actually doesn't have an expansion for himself that's actually not good for him as well and he he actually retreating back he's not opting to attack or destroy that great hole though well let's see what, how the game goes out then the bm is down one way or another and where oh wait he's, he just towered it back i do and i do believe he had the under player had good notice of it and now the under and the old player actually going for that red camp which is already crept out by the under player And they're gonna be going towards that uh, going to the expansion point to see if the old or <laughs> oh god the old player going towards the expansion point to see if um, Lucifer might have expanded or not. And there goes a bad fighter. Nothing much to do at the moment game and that very boring stagnant position after a few well and here comes a few skeleton warriors skeleton warriors gonna be charging a few blows all the peons peons go to run back to, from the goal line counter harassment there and oh my main gold mines down and he actually unsummoned his own necropolis and i really i really don't know why would you do that he just he doesn't have enough gold he doesn't even have enough gold to make uh, like make his own uh, haunted gold mine unsummoning those two uh, that tomb of relic that altar of darkness and i do believe he will be going for expansion over here because that's the most viable position for him at this point well he went up there but now going down a bit he, he seems oh my i don't tell me he, what he wants to do is just take out the orc base and haunt that gold mine. I don't, I, I don't believe. I, I, I wouldn't say I believe that he, he can do it with these less of the units. And here come. This will be the final battle of the game. All the players charging over the each other. The ugly thing they got. There goes all of. There goes all of. There goes hex and the BM being this on the BM being this down. New over there. BM at very low hit point. BM will might just die over there. Healing wave, healing wave being used by the SH and SH just going to saving it. There goes another way. New goal the BM. BM just died over there. BM died. And as a blade master died, the, the old army is weakened, weakened by a uh, by a low, huge extent. And now the undead army going over for the SH Shadow Hunter made a die over there. And now going for the raiders. Well, and this just proves that the undead player just managed to take out the, the main the heart of the old army and now he can just conquer this gold mine and just uh, any way he wants he has all three of his heroes with the old player only has the sh left sh is gonna be selling off some items sh is like is actually at level five he's actually pretty strong at the moment even though but he's a supportive type hero and he just can't uh, take out these these three this three hero combination by himself over here well, I do believe we all know the result of the game right now. Very good game played by the old um, Padish and Lucifer over this map, Secret Valleys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, just a small, this, I need some feedback, guys. Uh, ever since like I got this new PC, I'm like uploading videos every Sunday, and uh, that's why like actually the only day I do get time now. And I'm like uploading them. I'm, I'm, I'm actually getting no comments at all. Like, hey man, come on! If if you like it, you don't like it, just just comment below. Let me know what's like wrong and what should I do to fix it and stuff. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Strong Z or.